Hi everyone, welcome to our latest sales video where I show you what's going out in the post today. We have 32 items that have sold since Tuesday, uh, Tuesday lunchtime, it's now Friday lunchtime and it's not been too bad. Bearing in mind we, um, I've listed this morning and it's really the first time we've listed in over a week because uh, we've just been busy, been away, been enjoying the weather in the garden. So um, it's about time we pulled our finger out. Um, as long as we're listing regularly, then the sales should come in regularly because we're sourcing great stuff and we're pricing um, competitively. And we're also clearing out um, old stock, running a sale. Um, so it's quite active. Um, just clearing through bits and bobs. We've got a lot to list. We've been sourcing. We've got haul videos coming soon. And I've got a big pile down there of breakables that I got from the auction that I need to sort through over the next few days and get listed as well. If you're new to our channel, then I'm Faye and together with my husband, Simon, we are full-time resellers. We mainly resell on eBay and Amazon. I concentrate mainly on eBay, eBay and Simon concentrates mainly on Amazon, just the way this just worked out. Um, you might hear one of our dogs walking around, that's Luna. Um, she's a bit of a fidget bum. Um, yeah, so I'm going to show you. I haven't sorted out the breakables, so we'll get to those when I get to them rather than doing them first. Um, but I will start with what's here. Uh, this just sold a few minutes ago. It's Age of Empires 3, the Asian Dynasties expansion PC game. Cost um, less than 50p and it sold really low for 292, but it's it's out the door, easy to post. Uh, a small bundle of soaps. Um, forgot we had this. <laughs> Um, they are, they came in a big bundle from the auction of sort of beauty bits and bobs. Now, earlier in the year, I did mystery boxes of beauty items, but before I did that, I did bundle some bits and bobs together, and this was one of them. Uh, it actually, the cost price of this is £12.43, and it sold for £11.24, so not great. Um, mainly Body Shop, um, uh, I think it is all Body Shop. Yeah, Body Shop bath bombs, soaps, um, so not great but it's going better than sticking around here. Um, some tights, we sell a lot of tights, socks, underwear, because we pick, we were picking them up from the auction in bulk. Um, it's, I do enjoy picking this sort of stuff up and it's great in the run up to Christmas. So these are toe, toe, toe tights. So they literally go on each toe, they're a bit freaky. These ones are nude and they're one size fits all, so a shoe size of uh, UK three to eight, and they're brand new in their packet. Got these in January, uh, they cost £1.87 and they sold for £7. I think we've got one other pair and then some black ones as well for sale. This is the most recent sale that came in just as I was prepping for the video. It's a Harry Potter makeup bag and um, this costs £1.50 in an auction haul in February. We put it on a 25% off promotion. We're putting a lot of old stock on a 25% off promotion at the moment to go to cover payday weekend, which was last weekend. Um, but I'm hoping because the weather's not great today, people will be shopping online. Uh, and this sold for 8 24 It's brand new with tags. A couple of t-shirts sold to the same person. They sent an offer on one, and in their message with their offer, they said, oh, would you take £7.50 for this one and the other one that you've got listed? So I just accepted the first offer, and then they came back and sent the same offer for the other one, which I accepted as well. So I need to remember that the same person bought them uh, when we pack them later. So the first one is a 32 degrees cool Ultralux polo shirt, extra large, um, in heather seamoss green, brand new tags. Uh, so seven, that costs 193 in October. And this one is 32 degrees cool ultralux polo shirt, extra large in icy grey, brand new with tags, cost 193 in November. So together they sold for £15. Um, they're sort of golf t-shirts really. And they came from the auction again in a big job lot. I think these are sold at Costco, so they're ex-Costco stock. Um, possibly originally sold in multi-packs, but they've got split, and that's why I've ended up with them. Uh, another auction clothing item is this kids hoodie. I don't tend to pick up kids clothes. Um, we only seem to have them when they've come in an auction bundle. 
and we don't buy auction bundles of kids clothes we usually buy adults and it will say adult clothing uh, and sometimes the odd child's item does slip in there as well so it's an H&M kids hoodie 12 to 14 years uh, black pouch pocket hood brand new tags cost £1.29 in November we put this on a 25% off promotion and it sold for £6.39 uh, we don't really like to hold on to kids stuff so I was happy to see that go uh, a pair of shoes, some Adidas trainers. These are Adidas Originals XPLR trainers in UK 8. Uh, brand new of tags. They cost, I don't know why I can't see how much they cost. Um, let's see if I can find out. Um, no. I think they cost about £7.50. Uh, they're from the auction. We buy a lot of um, uh, shoe bundles from the auction and uh, these are on the 25% off promotion as well because uh, we've had them a while and they sold for £29.99. A bra. Uh, bras do really well for us. Our actual stock of bras is going down really quickly. Um, a lot of these ones, these are get, again are from the auction. I think they're ex um, debenham stock so obviously they close down. But this brand is Freya, which is an expensive brand. Um, it's Expression Plunge Bra in 36E. Brand new with tags. Cost £1.76 in March. Sold for £13. Um, this one is also an auction item. I don't know if it came in clothes or underwear, but it was a bit uh, alternative. Um, it's a spiral steel bone steampunk gothic vintage bracard corset uh, with belt and I got it in March uh, for £1.76 and it, I took an offer of £8 because I've had no interest. It's a bit niche and it's taken up a lot of room because it doesn't fold up because of the um, like steel boning. Um, what else have we got? A pair of shoes. Another pair of shoes. These ones are Puma. Puma, 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 Puma. Why can't I see them? There we go. Puma Men's Smash Perf Sneaker Trainer. Um, UK 7.5, brand new, with tags in the box. Cost £14.10 in February um, as part of a big job lot. Um, but there isn't that much money in them, so we got we uh, sent them out at eighteen twenty-two. That was the uh, best offer. A more recent pickup is this Joe Brown's jersey wrap dress in a fourteen. Got this from a charity shop. Worked out at six pound fifty-two because I bought loads of clothes that day, and I ended up just working out the cost, um, average cost per item. Um, got it in April, sold for fifteen. One. If you watch um, our haul videos, you'll recognise this one. This is Simon's favourite pickup. It's the Joseph Ribkoff um, Butterfly Zip Jacket in the UK 18. Uh, it cost £4.95 in May and it sold full price for £49.99. If you haven't seen the video with this in it where it says watch it to the end, um, and you should because it's funny. Everyone loved it. This jacket, I'm glad to see the back of. We have had offers that have been accepted that they haven't paid. We've had people buy it at full price and then cancel. And it, I, we were both just getting a bit fed up of it. So I just took an offer the, uh, last night, I think it was. It's a Liverpool FC official a football men's shower jacket large. Uh, cost 10 97 as part of a big sportswear bundle we got from the auction in February. That's paid for itself time and time again. Um, so I was happy to let this go at £18 and hopefully it won't come back. Because I don't want to see it again. And some sportswear, well, sports accessories. Uh, we got a load of these from the auction. They are 22 rugby equipment shin pads. And it's a pair. Uh, one size fits all, new in their bag. They cost 87p per pair with the bag in December. And we sold quite a few now, we've got five left, and these sold for six pounds and seven p, which is fine for 87p. 
Um, these were disappointing purely because they're so small. Uh, again, these came in the same sports bundle as that Liverpool jacket. Um, they're Lululemon Hottie Hot HR shorts, but they're a UK size six, so very small. I would never pick up size six um, of anything in a charity shop. Um, they're brand new tags, cost £10.97 in February, and they're going abroad via GSP, and they pay £22.49. I think I've got the top that goes with it as well. Um, there used to be a lot of clothes this week. There is other bits and bobs, I promise. Uh, these are the same brand as those polo shirts I just showed you. These, This is 32 degrees, cool shorts, large grey, elasticated jersey, pockets, drawstring, brand new with tags. Cost 85p in December. These are on the 25% off promotion as well, and they sold for 7 dollars I'm just going to check on my door. Sorry, I had to get up because I was thinking she's very quiet and we've got like a, a concertina clothes horse with like a mesh sort of hammocky bit at the bottom where you're supposed to put shoes if you wash shoes and she's in there. It's like she's on the beach or something in a hammock. <laughs> um, okay, more shorts. Um, I think these are a small size as well. Nike Sportswear Women's Woven Shorts Black. Yeah, extra small, leopard print logo, high waist, brand new tags. Uh, these cost $7.29 from the auction in February and these sell for $12.82. I let them go because they're a small size, but we've done so well with all the sportswear we've got because stuff went really quickly, like football shirts. Um, uh, wow, well, I can't remember what else we had. But yeah, I was more than happy with that um, bundle that we got. Now, these ones... These are Ed Hardy bikini bottoms. Um, Ed Hardy and Christian Ordigia or or bikini bottoms. They're a large, they're the yellow tattoo print. Very, very popular. Uh, I had loads of silly offers on these. I had the top, the top sold straight away. Um, but I was gonna hold on a bit for these, but in the end I just thought I need to get them gone. They cost 88p and uh, sold for 14 pounds. I think the top went for about 30. Uh, again, that, that cost 88p as well. And some gloves. These are WFX, which stands for Westwood Fox, knuckle protection motorcycle gloves in a medium, premium leather, brand new. They cost 193 in a glove bundle in November from the auction. And I'm uh, trying to clear out gloves now. They went for 10 pounds. jewelry it's like an arm cuff and I, I used the keyword hippie in my listing and the person that bought it has messaged us say hi i'm a hippie just wishing you well thank you for um like accepting my offer or something like can't wait to get it it's a nice message um so it's an upper arm cuff silver tones green beads lightweight gypsy surf hippie jewelry cost 40p in december as part of a big job lot and it's going uh, abroad, GSP for six thirty-nine. A vintage item that was in an unboxing video. It's a cigarette case. We had a silver coloured one as well that sold uh, last month. And it's stainless steel, vintage retro with an elastic holder inside. Cost one sixty-one in March uh, from the auction. And we put it on the 25% off promotion and it sold for $7.99 this morning. This bundle of clips were in another auction bundle. These ones are... Why have I picked it? Why can't I see it? Have they not paid? Am I going crazy? Oh no, there they are. Sewing wonder clips, dressmakers, quilters, scrapbookers, craft fabric clamps. There's a hundred of them in here. Um, people use them for all sorts of crafts. Um, they cost $4.49 as part of a bundle in March and they sell for $9.74. They're not worth, the, I wouldn't have picked these up for $4.49. They were just left over in an auction bag, um, but we put them on a 25% off promotion as well. So good to see the back of those. 
some lens wipes. This was the one that we nearly couldn't find this morning. There's something every time we pick stock um, that we sort of struggle to find. And I always think, oh no, racking my brains trying to remember if I've sold it already. Um, but no, we still, we had them, we just had to look harder. So they're Zeiss or Zeiss lens wipes, 200 pack, individually wrapped, moist, scratch and streak free. They're brand new in their box, sealed. They cost £6.17 um, in an electric bundle back in December. So um, this is a fodder item, stuff that we just end up with that we don't want, but we just sell through anyway. So they cost £6.17 and they went for £10. I don't know if they've got a use by date on them because they might dry out. In which case, that's why one of the reasons we needed to get them gone. Um, again, this one is very vintage Yahtzee. Um, this would probably have been a charity shop pickup. Um, five pound we paid for this. Um, it's from 1976, so it's older than me and Simon, and we sold it for 16 pound fifty. Oh, yeah, this is all sealed up, so I just have to explain what it is. Um, it's a vintage dressing table set, so it's your hairbrush, um, mirror, and a comb, and it's pink and silver from the 1950s. It we paid ten pound in March, which um, was quite high, but it sold for twenty six ninety nine, so all's good. I actually think. I got this, no, I did get this. So I listed it in March, but I didn't get it in March. I got it before Christmas. Um, when I went um, sourcing with Shopping with Sophie and Kez Online. Um, a couple of breakables now, which I will unwrap and show you. Um, I've listed 13 things already this morning. They're all clothes that I picked up. Um, at the weekend that we, our whole video will be um, going out soon um, so I'm pleased with those I've got to pack those up um, when I finish doing this um, but this here this little guy rare vintage Hummel Goble figure little fiddler number four TMK5 from 1972 and made in West Germany and if you see these global figures um, you can identify the date by the logo, so you have to do a bit of research. Um, but Simon is fully researched up on these. This one cost £17.50, which is quite high, but I think he got them in a bundle with some rare ones. And this one sold for £25. So the rare ones I think have gone already. So that is good. Um, some Hornsey. I always pick up Hornsey if it's the right price when I see it. Not all patterns. I did actually leave an espresso set behind in the charity shop yesterday um, because there were so many for sale. I didn't even look to see how much it was in the charity shop. I looked it up first. Um, but this one is Hornsey Saffron, which is the most sort of memorable design to me because it's what we had growing up. Um, it's a sugar pot with a wooden top. We sold loads of um, stuff from this collection. I think this one was from the auction. Big job lot of it. It worked out at £1.35 in March. And um, I sold it for £12.49. Seem to be showing one of these <clears throat> every sales video, which is fine by me. If they keep selling, then it's good. Um, it's the Coca-Cola glass that McDonald's were doing in the noughties, I think. Was it 2006? I should know this by now. 2009. So it's the Coca-Cola can glass. This one's purple, cost 50p, sold for 8 99 And we've got, got one left. I think we sold three or four. And what's in here? Da -da -da. Anyone saw our Instagram um, post last night with the spider? I had to go in there and pick stock. So I made Simon come with me though. I couldn't believe it. He's like, for goodness sake, I thought, I'm scared. I've got to do a sweep. So I made him go in there first. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, go on our Instagram. We're FNS resellers over there as well. And it's the post from the 3rd of June. Just scroll down. 
on our um, account and you'll see it um, makes me shiver um, what's this one ah this is another Hummel Goebel figure this one's called the artist and it's number 304 TMK5 dated 1972 to 1979 this one um, cost £11.35 and um, there's the logo and it sold for £45. So that's brilliant. Got that one there. And then we've got this. Now this is a bad buy. This is me being trigger happy again at the auction. Thought it would sell a lot quicker than it did for a lot more money than it did. Um, but we just admitted defeat. It's um, a head armor standard Tom drum case. So it's a case for a drum and it's got a Sherpa fleece lining. It is brand new, but it doesn't have tags. We paid 33.84 in January, and it sold for 27.48. Not good, not good. But it's going to be used somewhere else. Gets it out of our way, gets it out of my hair. And um, yeah, frees up some space for more stock. So that's good. Um, that is everything. That is all 32 items. So that didn't take long, did it? Um, if, oh no, I didn't show that one. Oh yes, I did. Getting confused with my trainers. Right. Well, um, I hope you liked this video. Um, please like, subscribe, comment. We're getting loads of comments and people are really, really helpful. Um, with some of the things that I show that I don't know what they are on some of the haul videos. So thank you very much um, for commenting. They really do help. And it just goes to show that, um, the reselling community is a really helpful and friendly one. And if you want to be part of it, come over to Instagram and um, join us there. There's a whole load of us that chat daily, multiple times a day, helping each other, sharing um, things we've picked up, things that we've sold, asking for help. It's, if you're thinking about reselling and think it's going to be lonely, it's not, I promise you. Um, so thank you very much for watching and I will see you in another video soon. Bye.